Hello. It's um 1:38 p.m. Um so maybe I should have um put my earbuds in cuz I thought it was quiet over here. Hold on. So, um, I'm surprised that I, I forgot what time it was. Yeah, I've been walking for over an hour now. I think it's been over an hour. No, not over an hour, almost an hour. And, um, so many gang stalking vehicles. And, they, they're perping me heavy today. So I feel like this. If y'all can have a car, I should be able to have a car too. I should have a right to have a car without being falsely judged as being covetous. At least I'm trying to get it on my own. I don't want a fucking thing you have. I'm just frustrated that I can't get my own. Sh I'm being blocked by wicked people, wicked narcissistic people, I'm like that's another one, you know, gang stalker, you know, I'm being blocked by wicked narcissistic people, you know, from trying to get my own rights as a 37 year old, you know, so. You don't have a right or authority to comment on my on my life or try to judge and condemn me. I'm fucking frustrated and I have a damn right to be frustrated that all these cars try to purposely run over me. You drive with one headlight, you purpose try to purposely wanna run over me. I don't wanna hear a fucking thing about y'all saying me being dangerous on the road and shit. When you never even saw me how I drive or anything. You know, I bet y'all, I bet y'all be safer than y'all motherfuckers. So, you know, I'm gonna put down my fear and get bold and try to get me a fucking, you know, my own driving job opportunity. You're gonna block me from working and block me from driving. They have people who've done way worse stuff than I have. So, I don't want to hear a damn thing about, about y'all trying to make it like I don't have a right to drive or I don't have a, a right to work or have a job or anything like that. You know, it's a fucking struggle out here. You know, I'm struggling. And then y'all push the false narrative that I'm living good and stuff like that. You know, so... I'm forced as a punishment to freaking walk everywhere. So, you know, I'm going to try to get me a freaking, I mean, job opportunity, driving or not. I'm going to try to get me a damn job opportunity. Y'all don't have a right to try to stop me and try to hinder me. You know, I don't want to hear a damn thing about me being a danger on the road. As long as y'all part of the conspiracy to purposely try to run over me with, with your cars, with your red and white cars. You know, I mean, I've seen clusters of several black cars, white cars, red cars, and blue and gray and silver. You know, all, uh, like, ever since I checked out the hotel room. So, I couldn't afford another night in the hotel room because they said it cost like 127 tonight and I didn't have enough so you know y'all playing a damn game to try to do all this cruel wicked shit to people and then playing like your hands aren't dirty and you want to plant pretend to be self-righteous and think you got authority and you think you got the power 
to try to frighten and scare people and stuff like that, you know. So I'm going to fight for my equal rights. My equal right to drive a damn car. Look at this bitch. Oh, like, you know, so. I'm going to fight for my equal right to drive. You Freemasons are not God Almighty. All y'all can't be God. I mean, so. Other targets say the same thing. If I'm a, if I'm a criminal, then lock me up. You know, so you want me to stop being a punk and stand up and fight, but then you want to tell me to ignore everything. If I was ignoring everything, I would have the job and car and house and stuff that I would like to have. You know, I'm not even asking for anything luxury or anything big, you know. But y'all want to make things as difficult as possible. Y'all don't have that authority to dictate who should live and who should die. Y you know, y'all didn't bring me on this world in the this world. So y'all didn't give me breath. You know, y'all didn't give me breath. You know, breath. Y'all didn't um give me a soul. Y'all didn't give birth to me. So, you know, why the hell should I be frightened and intimidated by y'all and y'all act like y'all think y'all got rulership and authority over me when y'all are Masonic and Satanic cult members? You know, you demonic perps need to go to fry in hell really hard. You know, I'm not doing anything wrong. Shucks. When I got wrongfully fired and banned from the, um, you know, that freaking sky zone. The, one of the police officers told me that I didn't do anything wrong. You know, so I'm going to try to fight, keep fighting for a way to try to get a job opportunity. Now, y'all kept saying, oh, you're lazy and don't want to get a job. And then when I try to get a job, y'all want to try to make it like I'm super mentally incompetent. Only y'all demonic sellouts are the ones, y'all narcissistic demonic sellouts are the only ones who try to insinuate that I'm not mentally capable. You know, they got all these military Freemason uh, perps around here, you, you know, that try to bully and frighten and intimidate me. And so many people were driving by with me, color cluster, like clusters of colors of vehicles, and then um, have their phone held up to their ear. And I'm like, I, I know all these people ain't talking on a cell phone and driving. What they're doing is they have their phone up to their ear trying to film me while they're driving. So look at this bitch. Look at you. You know? Oh, I thought that person was trying to run over me. You wait till I come, you get near me. So, I'm forced back on the streets. I have a bachelor's degree and been blocked from employment for years. You know, and that's an insane thing to do to put a teenager or a child on a gang stalking list forever when you don't think a person would grow up to change. People really act like they think that they have the authority to dictate that you should be considered a mental patient all your life. You know? So, it's like, no, no way in hell you're gonna be making like at least a minimum of ninety thousand dollars a year and own businesses and you and you own multiple businesses and you've been manager and supervisor and and CEO of job positions and you still got the you know and you still got a way to hate on and be jealous of a homeless poor person. I don't freaking get it. That the littlest thing that and the littlest accomplishment that I make, you're going to whine and cry about it. It's none of your damn business. 
Leave me the fuck alone. You know? So, and look at this. Okay, you better not hit me. So, you driving a red vehicle with a, wearing a red shirt. Oh, I'm surprised you being nice. You know? At least you didn't try to hit me this time because you know I got your ass on film. So, there were no Uber cars available and no cab available. So, I had to walk to where I'm walking now. You know? That's what the perks want. For me to be forced to walk everywhere as a punishment. I can care less about the damn dirty buses, but at least let me have a car and fucking drive. You know? Y'all determined as a fucking teenager that I'm not mentally fit to drive or I'm too mentally slow. I drove from Houston, Texas to Milwaukee, Wisconsin by myself. An immensely slow, crazy biological family got all fake surprised and everything. And then everybody was surprised when I drove back from Milwaukee to um back to New Orleans by myself. And I was on those psych medications at that time. You know, so how the hell is it that people can exercise their right to believe in whatever religion that they want, but you act like you think you have the authority to force me against my will to um, be a psych patient. Who's the hypocrite here? You know? And and they think that they think it's funny to, to set us up to get into car accidents. If other targets can have a car, and a job, a family, a house, and everything. And it's not about me worrying about what other people have. You know, you shouldn't freaking try to restrict me from my right to have equal things as other people. I mean, you try to, you can block and condemn me for having, I mean, try to block me from having anything normal. And then when I mention about it, you want to say, don't worry about what other people have. You know, you're not God to tell me what to worry about. You know? And they sleep sleep deprived me on purpose. You know? So, I see other targets, they say that they're sleep deprived. And, you know, they haven't gotten to a damn car accident yet. Even though it's possible that they could. But, I remember, I just wish I could find that website where they said that a targeted individual any targeted individual who end up in a car accident that the gang stalkers have blood on their hands you know because they're depriving us targeted individuals of a right to freedom of movement the right to transportation the right to have a roof over our head the right to live and everything a lot of people say housing should be a right But the narcissistic bully fag cops, look, she just tried to beat me. This Lexus right here, she just tried to beat me and tried to run over me. You know, so it's like, it's okay for everybody else to drive as reckless as they want. You know. See, look, why he's sitting in his car? This guy right here. Sitting in your car with your phone. I mean your van. So I mean if meth head people who do crystal meth and crackheads and drunkards, alcoholics can drive, then I damn sure should have a you know, be allowed to drive and have a car. I'm fucking frustrated. And this this is not funny because when the new world order comes and y'all get a taste of y'all own medicine, your master Satan will betray y'all. It won't be funny then, you know, it will not be funny. I mean, y'all ain't going to think it's funny when the, when the government comes and confiscate 
all y'all belongings and take away your freedoms and rights. They're already taking away everybody's freedoms and rights. So, um, as I said, I have a right to try to go get a, you know, access to a vehicle and try to get back on my feet and try to, um, drive and get a car and get a home and stuff like that. Fuck a family. I don't even have to have a family. I was just, you know, content with being alone and by myself. You know? So, it's like, I was, there was something I was going to say about how, was, oh yeah, so the, the Masonic, Satanic, Bully, Fag Cops would try to say to have a place to live is a privilege and not a right. Okay, you're not God to make that decision. You know? But what makes you, what makes you, what good deeds did you do to make yourself worthy of the privilege to have a car, house, and everything? The fact that you sold your soul to the devil and now you, you're soulless and mindless and, and wicked as hell. You know? Stop acting like you think you got your fake power and fake authority is so high when you ain't shit. You know? It's like, it seems like only certain. Here's another perp right here. Gang stalkers. So, I mean. Says the person with the salary of over ninety thousand a year, and you tell a person to have a place to live is a privilege and not a right. I've been told that at least twice in my life. Even in New York, the narcissistic—I don't know even know if he was black or Afro Puerto Rican, or if he was Dominican or what the hell he was—but he was black and delusionally believes he's white. And a narcissistic abuser didn't even know me and thought he had the authority to diagnose me as bipolar and stuff like that. So, what if this, the doggone scenario, if I were to become that prostitute and perp that y'all want me to be? And after I've given over my soul and you still won't let me try, I'm not falling for that. I'm not going to um, sell my soul to the devil, period, at all. But I more so will not sell my soul to the devil if I can't have what I want. If I sell out and then I'm still black from having what I want, you know. So, you, you know, y'all think that controlling others like a total puppet on a string. Y- y'all think that's hilarious. Y'all think it's funny that y'all can have a field day with toying with people's lives. You know? So, I'm not a criminal. And if I am, show me how I'm guilty and lock me up. You know? So, I've had more than 20 20 vehicles try to run over me or they'll wait until after I'm more than halfway to cross cross the street to um, wait till the last minute and make a swift swift right turn hoping that they'll strike me with their vehicle. So who's the one who's mentally incompetent and shouldn't be driving here? Who shouldn't be driving? Y'all purposely make yourself a danger to us targets. So how you want to say that we're targets are a danger on the road? You know, some targets don't want to drive because of what the, the perps purposely causing accidents and stuff like, oh, doing whatever wickedness or evil. But, you know, my desire to want to work and drive a car, I'm not sinning. Like, gang stalkers! With the Virginia license plate. So, 
You know, I don't care how repetitive I sound. You know, if y'all think that I'm men- that too mental to have a job, that y'all think y'all have the authority to dictate that I should be banned from all employment. You know, I have a whole bachelor's degree, and y'all trying to make it like I'm so mentally incompetent and slow, and like I don't know any better. You know? That you purposely abuse and degrade me and, and, and dictate. You want to try to falsely say that a two-year-old child has more sense, more common sense than I do. Or, or, I mean, you just put me down and be- degrade me and you hate my guts. Why the hell should I take any fake advice from you? And it's not looking out for my best interest or giving me good advice. If you want to say that, um, I mean... If you want to dictate that I deserve to be locked up in a mental institution and then you want to pretend to fake like it's because you're concerned and because you care. If you're in a different city and state from me, I'm not a, dirt, I'm not a danger to you or your family. So I'm not a danger to anyone. You know, so... I heard that a lot of gang stalkers who gang stalk 18 hours a day, I heard that a lot of them are forced to take drugs and stay awake all the time, so they be fucking sleep deprived too, you know? I don't want to drive while sleep deprived. I wish that they could stop sleep depriving me so I can drive, you know? So... They purposely try to systematically destroy us, our body, mind, and soul. And this is slow kill. And not only slow killing target individuals, but Bill Gates and all them, they're slow killing everybody. You know, the idea that we should wake up to the agenda. Just because you purposely choose to have me blocked from driving a car because you want to be selfish and evil, that does not make, that's not proof that I'm immature. That does, I mean, you're the one who's an abusive bully, a narcissistic bully. So, you don't have the authority or the right to try to say, I have no business driving. Like, you think saying, have no business makes you more grown and more authoritative. How the hell you, you are delusional if, you know, you're delusional if, being a, you, if you think that being a bully makes you mature, see three black cars. Now they're starting to get me with black now. I guess I must have upgraded. Because it used to be just white and red. Now they're getting me with black. All these clusters of vehicles. And that's a black car with a red shirt. Y'all the ones who are cult members. I don't care. Somebody's gonna fucking listen to me, damn it. Not everybody's gonna freaking ignore me. So, you know, stop trying to make me out to look like a mental patient when psychiatry is a money-making fraud. Why don't you speak out against them being money-hungry scammers? But y'all, you know, sitting there laughing, like y'all think that, you know, me speaking the truth and being frustrated, y'all, y'all think that's hilarious to he- hear me talk, quote unquote, crazy talk. But it's not y'all authority or place to judge. And who's holier than thou? If you think you have, you an outsider stranger who think you have the authority to punish my life. I'm longing for my own place, you know, my own roof over my head. Preferably, it would be nice to have a, a, an isolated cottage. And um, if I can have an isolated cottage and, you know, uh, like a small little cottage and a dependable car to get around in, you know, so, I mean, I'm not sending for, you know, wishing for 
transportation, I mean, independent, independent transportation and a roof over my head. You know, because they have people who are way worse, far worse than I have. And you can't even prove me to be a criminal. Prove that I'm a criminal. You know, speaking out against workplace mobbing is not a crime. But y'all get the whole fucking police to try to scare and frighten me, you know, against speaking out against my targeting. And I mean, a lot of us talk about workplace mobbing, but they don't get the punishment of being bullied and abused by the Scambia County sheriffs or any other police, you know? So I'm out of breath, so I'm gonna go.